talked about SR and SRV6. Talk us through some of the advantages in, in deploying this. Um, well, let's start by why did we go with segment rail? And I think uh, there's a push in the industry for simplification of the networks. Right now we have this massive number of protocols that we're running across the network. They all have to be synchronized. They all have to work together. So what we really want to be able to do is keep the protocols that we really need and remove the ones that we don't. So what segment routing does, um, as it's been introduced, is it allows us to specify the path that a packet will take in the network, topological perspective and from a processing perspective. So what do I mean by that? Um, so basically, from a topological perspective, we're able to specify exactly which routers uh, the packet will flow through the network as it goes from its source to its destination. And for processing, we're able to specify what should happen to that packet at each of those hops in the network. So things like security, uh, OAM, um, uh, those types of things. Um, so what segment routing does is it allows us to uh, utilize a concept of source routing, which is not a new innovation, it's been around a long time. The segment routing is really the first um, application of that source routing in the network. Um, so the advantage of this uh, really is that it allows us to remove a lot of the state from the network and we carry that state in the packet. Um, so this allows us to really simplify down on the protocols um, and allows us to address some of the new services that we're going to be having to address with 5G and cloud. Um, how do you see this being accepted across, across the industry? Well, we started uh, uh, this the segment routing development was really on the, the MPLS data plane, which is the most widely deployed data plane in the industry. Um, and we've been deploying that um, for a little while now. Um, lots of uh, um, work has been done on SR MPLS uh, to utilize that data plane. Um, but from my personal perspective, MPLS has some limitations, shall we say, in terms of what I can do with it moving into the, into the future. Um, now we can, we can add some of the requirements into the MPLS data plane, but what we really want to be able to do is unify the IP transport. And this is where IPv6 comes into play. Um, we believe that with IPv6 data plane, we can address all of the requirements that we see coming from 5G and cloud. Um, and also eventually remove some of the legacy protocols that are, are more difficult to uh, extend and innovate on top of. That's really what we're looking to do. Um, but at the same time, we need that backwards compatibility because the reality is there's lots of MPLS out there. There's also IPv6, but we need to be able to move a, a transition towards that, sure, uh, sure, that, sure. that end. I mean, that is really looking toward the future and looking towards 5G. That is, that's yes. really sort of the, it's not really the holy grail, but it's it's definitely the end state or, or at least the next waypoint yes. uh, along the journey that, yes. that, that the industry is looking towards. You know, talk us through some of the application scenarios and particularly work that, that companies like Huawei have been doing in that. Of course. Area. So, um, so within my team, what I've asked them to do is, is essentially three things. What I want to be able to do is get the network simplification uh, that's our underpinning. Above that, I need to add the tools that our operators can use to be able to address some of the requirements that they have. This is the, uh, the segment routing tools. And then third, actually utilize those tools to be able to address the new requirements that are coming into the industry with the introduction of 5G. So, um, some of the things that we've been working on, um, uh, things like uh, virtualization and network slicing there's service chaining, there's can we simplify the mobility networks in terms of the transport. And the key with, uh, with segment routing or with that data plane, it's not so much, um, the data plane to some degree is, is unimportant. It, it's can that data plane address the requirements. So one of the key innovations I think is, is, is this concept of network programming.